Hi everyone, before this video begins, I just want to say one point. I've been doing a lot of drama videos on my channel recently. Literally, it's just because there's been so much drama that's been happening. Normally, I talk to my friends about these things, but suddenly they don't care about YouTube drama anymore, so now I need an outlet. And I've been having such intelligent, interesting comments with all of you in the comments of each individual video I posted now, and I'm really enjoying having this conversation with you. So what we're going to be talking about today is Morgan Adams, who's Rylan Adams' sister, and Shane Dawson's almost sister in in law, unfollow Jeffree Star, seemingly taking herself away from the situation and completely taking herself away from Jeffree Star. Now this is very big. So Ryland and Shane are engaged now and will be getting married soon. Now keep in mind Shane Dawson calls Jeffree Star his family. He's my family. I'm gonna protect my baby, he's my family. No matter what Jeffree Star has done, Shane Dawson has always said that one fucking line that has really irritated me, he's my family. So behind the scenes now, something is happening because your actual family is suddenly going against your family. Shane, I'm speaking directly to you now. The person you're about to marry's sister is actively now speaking out going against your family while all this drama is unraveling. Now I know you fucking stress because we know that you care about drama so much behind the scenes, but act like you don't in person. I'm done with this. I'm leaving the beauty community as your shitty statement said. It's not even an apology, it's a statement. So can you imagine the conversation that's going on currently? Shane Dawson's real family is going against his family. Now I know Shane Dawson's gonna be like, Ryland, can you get Morgan? Tell her to refollow Jeffrey. We need to keep us all together. Now I waited a while before filming this video. Morgan has unfollowed Jeffrey, supposedly followed him again, and supposedly unfollowed him again within the space of a couple hours. Now something is happening behind the scenes. Dramageddon 3 is definitely happening right now. They're calling it Carmageddon, as I'm seeing all over Twitter. Now, Morgan Adams also has a YouTube channel, as we're all aware, and she was involved in the beautiful world of Jeffree Star, that really bad series that we're all aware of, and we all tried to blank out of our minds because it was so awful and biased. You know the one that made it seem like Jeffree Star was this innocent, untouchable, broken person, when in reality he breaks other people? But of course Shane made that series because Shane also does that same thing to other people. Also, one thing I want to say I didn't say in my first Shane Dawson video, in his statement he says about how he's tired of drama channels and people using his face, name, for views, for drama, for whatever. Shane built his entire career off of exploiting the same concept but for celebrities. He had videos talking about Lady Gaga with Lady Gaga in the thumbnail, Katy Perry, Katy Perry in the thumbnail, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber in the thumbnail, Avril Lavigne, Avril Lavigne. That's the same concept of people using you. So this isn't a case of you can do it to build your career but other people are trying to do it and it's suddenly a problem. Someone raised the argument and tweeted me and said, huh, you're not the same person you were 11 years ago, he doesn't do this. Correct, I'm not the same person I was 11 years ago because I was six. <laughs> And Shane is still doing it. This time he's not doing it with celebrities, he's doing it with YouTubers. For example, the dangerous world of Jeffree Star. The beautiful world of Jeffree Star. The beautiful world of Jeffree Star again. The return of Eugenia Cooney which he belittled her that entire series and no one talks about that enough but I'll save that for another video. And how he's made fun of her and her body image throughout the years and suddenly he's her best friend trying to give her this recovery. Whenever it was people like Shane that sent her in that downfall. Anyways, we won't talk about that in today's video. Inside the mind of Jake Paul, the ex-girlfriend of Jake Paul, the secrets of Jake Paul, the world of Jake Paul, the enemies of Jake Paul, the family of Jake Paul, the dark side of Jake Paul, there are so fucking many. The mind of Jake Paul, the truth about Jeffree Star, the secret of Jeffree Star, switching with Trisha Paytas. I can go on and on. And these YouTubers are plastered on the thumbnails as well. So Shane, you're directly doing the thing you're calling people out for. You are a hypocrite, you have been for years now, and you still are. So for anyone raising the argument that he's changed, he's still doing it, babe. Anyway, back to Morgan. In the beautiful world of Jeffree Star series, Morgan was involved and she said about how she went on a trip and she felt she wasn't pretty enough. She felt she was being belittled by the other creators because she didn't have all these surgeries. She felt pressured into getting lip fillers and all these different fillers, plastic surgeries. And she felt that they were treating her like she didn't belong there which is completely wrong. And Jeffrey was like, I'll sort it out and all like that. Yeah, you're probably gonna create another fake scandal and try to end their life, Jeffrey. Because that's what we know you do best. Because that's what you did to James Charles. You tried to end his life. Whether we wanna have that conversation or not, that's what you did. So in that series, Jeffrey and Morgan seem to be very good friends. 
And obviously they would be because Shane's friend group now is super weird and it's like one big cult. They all protect each other. So for Morgan to completely unfollow Jeffrey and take herself away from the situation is ballsy. But also, she should not be getting praised for this. People are making all these different comparisons online. It should not be a congratulations you're taking yourself away from a racist and problematic person. It should be a Good, that's what you should be doing. Take yourself away from them because they're a bad person. Anyway, that being said, I'm happy at least that she is taking herself away. A lot of people have a lot of different theories on why this is happening. Personally, I believe that someone's going to be posting a video and a lot of different people are being warned about it, which is why they're automatically unfollowing Jeffrey. Now, we don't know who's posting the video. People think Taddy and they also think that she's going to be leaving, completely ending her YouTube career with this final video. Now, I don't know if that's true. A lot of people have been saying it. That can also be a big backlash for her, but it could be Nate. Nate is Jeffrey's ex-boyfriend, but I'm sure Jeffrey had him sign some legal document. But then again, Taddy probably had that too. Jeffrey's probably suing all these people even before they say anything. Thing because he's that insecure about anything happening to him or his brand because we live in this world where he can do the most outrageous stuff in his present not just his past and he'll be forgiven about it in about two weeks that's why I hope people still hold him and Shane accountable past the two week mark of this it's time these people who have a track record actually have to deal with what they've done and have some accountability because they never take that and Shane's apology very much so shows that. And I also 100% believe that Jeffrey was behind the writing of that. I had a conversation on Twitter with a bunch of you. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Be part of the conversation. Everyone believes that Jeffrey helped Shane write that apology if Jeffrey did not write it himself because of how belittling it is. Manipulative. Doesn't address anything. Shits on James Charles for absolutely no reason still. Takes no accountability as I said again. Just shows how much of an ego you have. And that fits in well with both of them. So I'm happy finally someone in that inner circle is breaking off. Honestly, Morgan is so much better without them. I think it'll be a whirlwind if Andrew or Drew or Garrett or someone comes out now. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? That, that's a moment. Wow. Okay, I'm editing and I feel like I didn't talk about this Andrew point enough. If you think about it, Andrew is with them all the time. He filmed every single docu-series or documentary or whatever. They're, they're so bad that Shane has done. He has all the insider information. Can you believe if he went out against them? I don't know if they pay Andrew a lot and what his living's like or if he enjoys doing it, but I'm sure he's seen some really shady stuff. You know he's been told to put down that camera and stop filming way too many times. But if you also think about it, the group dynamic is going to be so different after this because of Jeffrey. Not because of their own group, but because of Jeffrey and his influence on Shane. What kind of videos can they do in future? Shane posted that video where he was showing a ghost in his house or something. It was so bad I could not finish it. And the dynamic in that was so weird. Him and Ryland were literally fighting the entire video and had the weirdest tension between them. And Andrew's not as involved in the videos anymore in terms of his own humor. You know he's been told to hold it back. Or maybe he just doesn't want to show himself as much anymore because he's seeing what these videos are doing to the people around him's reputation. And after this, maybe he'll want to go into a better job. Or maybe he really enjoys it. I don't know, Andrew could be really shady too and we don't know. But they've done the series with Trisha, Eugenia, Graveyard Girl, again, Jake Paul, Jeffrey, all those series. So I feel at this stage they know so much about each other, but I also feel like if Andrew ever went out against them that Jeffrey will come after him. Could you imagine the amount of video footage that they have that could probably get Jeffree Star in a lot of trouble? They recorded him when he was so angry when he was doing legal business stuff. Now I'm sure a lot of the things that happened at Jeffree Star Cosmetics, from my own opinion, this is my own opinion allegedly, are a little bit shady behind the scenes. And I just want to say, someone DM me and say, hey, just want to give you a heads up. Jeffree Star blocked me because I called him out, maybe because I asked why my pal took two and a half weeks to go from LA to LA. And I'd saw this person's tweets ages ago. They basically called Jeffrey out on why they hadn't got their order and Jeffrey blocked them, which is super sus and super weird. Jeffrey has said that everything has slowed down at Jeffree Star Cosmetics and that people will get their orders eventually, but now has been restocking all these different things. And in my opinion, what I believe he does as a business technique is that he says things have sold out when they haven't, so it looks like his career isn't as affected as what it is. This happened with the cremated palette, in my opinion, and I feel like it will happen with this restock with Shane because you see that it's not selling as well as they probably hoped it would. But I also want to say this point, on Shane's Instagram, he did an entire video where he was unboxing the entire restock, and it's super funny because looking back now he posted his apology where he was saying he was stepping away from the beauty community after doing that which shows just how insincere he was he wanted that final restock that final money that he manipulated and milked his audience for and then he would be like you know what 
It's not for me. And for the people saying the argument Shane didn't want to get into this for the money, at the start of the series Shane says, I don't care, just make me rich to Jeffrey. Like, it's on video. Can you imagine the amount of stuff that they've had in conversations that Andrew was like, no, we can't include this, or Shane was like, no, we can't include this. All these people care about is money, and for Morgan being an up-and-coming YouTuber, and Ryland, who was someone as a news presenter turned YouTuber, it must be so weird to be surrounded by all this drama now, and they must be aware, especially Morgan, from someone who's not living in the house but just experiences it, that the drama seems to follow them, so she can piece it together that the issue is actually with Shane. And the issue was with Shane after he started hanging out with Jeffrey. Now Jeffrey's a very money oriented person as we're aware. So obviously that has rubbed off on Shane. And because Shane has such a bad past it can bring into a bad present as well. And a lot of his bad tendencies seem to have relapsed in terms of his toxic energy and behaviour. And that's the stuff that Jeffrey has always had inside of him. So I'm praying that Morgan can get out before it properly affects her. The dynamic between her and Shane has always been pretty weird in these series. Is it always seems like she doesn't want to be fully involved which I don't blame her for. These series is with Jeffrey attract a lot of negative press as well, even though it's just giving them a lot of money. If you're not fully caring about money, hearing negative stuff said about you can probably really affect you. And you have to remember, Morgan is still really humble. From an outsider's point of view, obviously I don't know what's happening behind the scenes. So that's why I wanted to do this, talking about her stepping away, just because I thought it was so interesting. And now it poses the question, will Shane and Ryland's relationship be affected because of this now? Because... If Ryland's sister is now actively going against his friend group and stuff like that, it can cause a lot of tension that we will probably see unravel within the next while. So that's something to keep an eye out for now and we don't know what's going to happen with that relationship. So so I just want to know what all your opinions are that Morgan is officially taking herself away from the situation. She might refollow Jeffrey. Shane might call her in and be like, bitch, you better. You want me to marry your brother? You better. You want to keep my money? You better. Morgan, continue making your own money, queen. Make that coin on your videos. Have those ads. We will be watching if you continue to pull yourself away from those people. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to hop on here and say that. What's your guys' opinion? Are you team Morgan or are you team Jeffrey and Shane? Let me know. Okay, I'll see you later and I'm sure I'll have more updates for you very soon.